Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. We are two sisters, Southern Cooking. Good morning. So what is it? This time of the year is always like you want to start getting into your fall cooking and your baking and there's nothing better than in the fall than going to IHOP and having a uh, like a pumpkin um, pancake. pancake or some kind of a squash pancake or something like that. So we had kushaw that was cooked that was left over from our pie last week. So. You have to use it up within a week if it's in the refrigerator if it's in the freezer then it's good for several months so right. so we wanted to go ahead and, and try to use it up as much as possible so we got cooked uh, kushal that we're going to put into our ingredients so basically we're gonna have kushal pumpkin uh, flavored um, pancakes yes Kushal does taste like pumpkin to me. I mean, it just it just does. It's going to be fall in your mouth. That's exactly yeah, what so it is. It's going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and put our eggs in, our kushal in, and our oil in. And that's what we're going to go ahead and start okay. with. So, there we go. I'll go ahead and get that out. Elsie's still got a bum finger, so. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's healing. Getting there. <laughs> It's gonna it's gonna take a while. I Cheers nearly took the tip. tip totally off, so yeah. it's gonna take a while to heal back. Yeah. All right, and if you want to pour in the oil, I'll go ahead and get the eggs whisked up here, and then I'll pour that in. And then we have water. And we are going to hold off on the water for just one moment because we're going to mix this together, and then we're going to put in our dry ingredients. So we have some extra spices in there like cloves and ginger, and we have cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, allspice, and you know, it's going to be fall in your mouth. That's exactly what it's going to be. So, and we also have uh, baking powder. Go ahead and put that in. I'm going to pour the stuff and Elsie's going to whisk it. Yeah, I'm going to use the whisk because you want to make sure that you incorporate it really well, especially right. the baking powder. Right. You don't want clumps of baking powder. No, you don't. Nor do you want clumps of flour or no. sugar either. No. Well, sugar is not so bad, but yeah, flour is not the best taste in the world to to do. Right. For having uh, clumps of flour in, <laughs> in your ingredients, it's mm, kind of yucky. I'm giving us a bath, a flour bath. No, it's not cooking day if we don't give each other a flour shower. So my son just called me. He's leaving for deployment. So he's going to leave and be gone during his birthday. So we sang him happy birthday. Off key. Big time off key. Yeah. He's 30 this year. I know. So. Sabrina will be 31. I know. Time flies. They're getting old. We're getting old. <laughs> we're not getting old. They're getting old. <laughs> Anyways, okay. and this weekend is Roger's birthday. Yep. And that's all our spices that we put in there. Oh, is it going to be divine? I'm telling you, it's going to be so good. I don't know if you've had the IHOP or the or any of the uh, uh, pancakes from any of the specialty places like uh, Cracker Barrel and stuff like that, where they've had um, the the uh, like the pumpkin or some kind of a winter squash. Butternut squash, that is a killer. Right. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and get this to ready to ladle up here. Just a little bit of water at a time. Depending on how your consistency is that you want. Just a little bit more I think and then we'll be good. And then we're gonna put it in a hot skillet and cook them up. Oh, we'll have some good fall. These are going to be really good. Kushal pancakes for dinner. So we're doing breakfast for dinner today. So, yep. So excited. We do that once in a while, just to you know, kind of like uh, 
get the things all stirred up here. Think we need a little more water? Just a hair. Just Not a much. hair. Just a little bit. So you want to put about a half a cup of water just in side. case. Right. And you don't use it all because you're going to make your <laughs> pancakes too watery and then you'll... All right. I think that looks good. I think that's perfect. Okay, guys, we will come back and show you what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and get it um, on the griddle and uh, get ready to make some delicious fall pancakes. And we'll see you guys in the come. Hey, y'all, so it's time to make the pancakes. So I'm going to turn up my heat just a tad bit because I don't want it to be too hot, but I don't want it to be also too cold. Um, because if you put it up too hot and you're like guns and blazing, you're gonna have way too much heat on here and it's gonna burn really fast and then it's not gonna cook properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray with our spray. Got some Pam here. I got it about 275 and I'm gonna take one little like dipper full of our pancake batter. I'm just gonna put it on here let it go ahead and just get ready to cook up. We're not going to make huge pancakes with this. We're going to make small ones. You can spread them out a little bit. All right, guys, we're going to let these cook and we'll be right back. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. This show is produced by Two Sisters Productions, McRae, Georgia.